Hair's not over the place, is it? <laughs> I've not been no. off to my dressing room or anything. But <laughs> okay, it would have been really difficult, but we had the people in place, we had the ground in place, so I'm not sure anybody that's came in's ever been 100% ready. But they've just managed to come up to the to the mark. All, I mean, all the clubs that have come in have all been a credit to the league. We we weren't under any illusions. We weren't expecting to be to be voted in. There's talk of it for years and years, and it was it's difficult to get put together in Scotland because of the I don't know if it's geographical issues or the fact that if any team was dropping out you have to give them a viable option to come back in. So the first the first, re, the first thing was to set up that viable option. So when the Lowland League came in, that became a viable option. So now I would say, yes, it's a good thing. It's certainly made every league in Scotland competitive from top to bottom. There's lots of players get released by the top clubs. I mean, the fall off rate for young players is quite frightening. And where clubs like even ourselves come in and a lot of teams in the Lowland League is that safety net and that place for people to play and develop and get forward, going forward again uh, and anything like that. I mean, the more clubs that are playing at a high standard, the better that's got to be for everybody, I would have thought. It was absolutely gutting. I mean, we, it, was, it was probably the worst I've ever felt and I think Hoyas, the worst we've ever felt after a football match. Uh, to have gone up there and, and lost on penalties. It, it was a huge disappointment and I think the players and the management the next season took that, that sort of feeling and took it into the next season and I think it prepared us really well for the playoff matches this season. We were really well prepared for the Cove match especially. Uh, I think it was just, we knew what to expect in the game and it's, I think it's one of the reasons we got, we got through in the playoffs was if, from the defeat the year before. But Gary's done an absolutely fantastic job here. Uh, the players were obviously going up to Cove and uh, both games against Cove, both games against Shire were extremely well organised. Yeah! Well, people in Edinburgh, people are really set in sport and of ours. What we're looking to pick up on is a person who maybe supports Hibs or Hearts, and, but they can't afford to go and watch. So we're trying to get them along, maybe with their kids, making the, making the kids' season ticket really affordable. So any other team that's got in has been elected in, and they've known that they could finish bottom three, four seasons in a row, and there was no pressure in a playoff. We, on the other hand, have to be right on it right away. Because long term, you just don't know where football can take you. Edinburgh City, dedicated, hard working and a good football team.